Hi everyone, this is Sheetal Chaudhary, your accounts master teacher and I welcome you all to Vedantu Commerce. We are here for a better future. I hope that all of you are good and awesome. You are a big fan. So let's start this session ki with some positive thoughts, with some positive vibes. Practice like you have never worn and perform like like you have never lost hamesha taiyari aise karo ki kabhi aap jeete hi na ho aapko jeetna hai aisi taiyari karo aur perform like you have never lost ki aap kabhi haare hi nahi now this is class 12th accountancy session in which we will be doing the practical question of the chapter cash flow statement as you all know this chapter is very important a question pakka pakka se aayega of 6 mark and two short questions of one mark each will come so dekhte hain ki kaise questions aayenge for 6 marks in your boards exam So guys if you are new to our channel Vedantu Commerce then please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to like this video and share this with your friends and family and one more thing you can also join our official telegram group Vedantu Commerce if you want to receive all these notes in the PDF form अगर आपको पीडीएफ फॉर्म में ये नोट्स चाहिए तो अभी जाइए और टेलीग्राम ग्रुप पर ज्वाइन करें द लिंक इज इन दी डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो एंड नाउ लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट सो आर यू कंफ्यूज्ड दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑन कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट हाउ टू बिगिन द क्वेश्चन सो हियर आई एम टू टेल यू हाउ टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑफ कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट So don't worry at all. Vedantu is here to solve every problem of yours. And if you want to attend more such classes with us, then you can take Vedantu Commerce Pro subscription. The features I will tell you later. But right now, let me tell you that at present. अभी हम आपको देंगे flat twenty percent discount on this. pro subscription the actual price of this pro subscription will be 3499 for one month but right now we will give you flat 20% discount so after discount the price will be only 2799 this is half of your school fees so kiska intezar hai what are you waiting for Go and take your pro subscription right now, so that you can easily score good marks in your boards exam, and you can avail twenty percent discount by using my code S C Pro. This is my code, which you can use to get twenty percent discount. And every day at six pm, I will be coming live to solve practical question of different of difficult chapters. डेली छह बजे हम करेंगे प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन विद मी गाइस सो ब्लॉक योर कैलेंडर्स एट सिक्स पी एम फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन चलिए अब चलते हैं सेशन की तरफ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद रिवीजन एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑफ द कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई विल सजेस्ट यू the bonus point make a proper format with pencil and scale whenever you are preparing the format of cash flow from operating activity you are preparing the fixed asset account accumulated depreciation account or any ledger or any format make it clear with the help of pencil and scale don't make rough lines तो हमें थोड़ा सा खर्चा करना है पांच दस रुपए का स्केल पेंसिल लेके जाना है देन ऑलवेज मेक अ वर्किंग नोट वेन एवर यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग द प्रॉफिट और लॉस ऑन द सेल ऑफ मशीनरी 
तो आपको क्या बनाना है वर्किंग नोट वेन एवर इट इज ने मेक श्योर यू आर मेकिंग अ क्लियर एंड सिंपल वर्किंग नोट एंड दैट्स इट now we will solve some question and i will tell you that how to start the question of cash flow statement so chaliye dekhte hain ki kaise questions ko questions ko solve kiya jayega and our first question is on our screen so ye hai hamara pehla question as we all know cash flow from कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री एक्टिविटीज कैश फ्लो को हमने तीन पार्ट्स में डिवाइड किया है कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी एंड कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल रीड द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग बैलेंस शीट ऑफ मोहन लिमिटेड प्रिपेयर कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट दिस इज द बैलेंस शीट दैट इज गिवन टू वर्ल्ड but the most important additional information is also given chalo padhte hain additional information ko additional information says that machine costing 80000 on which accumulated depreciation was 50000 was sold for 20000 So now, as I have told you in this chapter, जब हमने ये चैप्टर किया था मैंने आपको एक लाइन बताई थी वेन एवर एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन रिलेटेड टू एनी ऑफ द एसेट एनी ऑफ द लाइबिलिटी इट इज ऑलवेज मैंडेटरी टू प्रिपेयर द लेजर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर आइटम अगर किसी भी आइटम से रिलेटेड एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन गिवेन है तो उसका हमें लेजर अकाउंट तैयार करना पड़ेगा so in this question now we will prepare fixed asset ledger account and we will prepare accumulated depreciation ledger account because the additional information is given related to these two item machine machine is an fixed asset costing 80000 on which accumulated depreciation so accumulated depreciation is also involved फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपको क्वेश्चन को स्टार्ट करने से पहले प्लीज नोट इट डाउन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्वेश्चन वी विल रीड द एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल प्रिपेयर द लेजर अकाउंट सबसे पहले हमें क्या बनाना है लेजर अकाउंट बनाने हैं सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर मशीन फिक्स एसेट अकाउंट एंड एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन अकाउंट This is your previous year 2010 this is your current year 2011 so fixed asset balance brought down is 4 lakh balance carried down is 6 lakh this is your fixed asset account debit side date particular jf amount credit side date particular jf amount two balance brought down opening balance Four lakh by balance carried down closing balance six lakh opening and closing लिख लिया now accumulated depreciation opening and closing accumulated depreciation opening eighty thousand closing one lakh so in this you will write the opening balance on the credit side by balance brought down. we are writing the opening balance on the credit side because it is a liability so jo liability hote hain unka balance brought down credit side aata hai aur assets ka debit side aata hai so by balance brought down 80000 opening balance two balance carried down closing 1 lakh now we have recorded the opening and closing balances in both the ledger account Now it's time to record the additional information. Additional information में ये बोला है, the machine costing eighty thousand, on which accumulated depreciation is fifty thousand, was sold for twenty thousand. Machine जिसकी cost है eighty thousand. On which accumulated depreciation is fifty thousand. 
so from cost we will subtract the accumulated depreciation book value is 30000 and it is sold for it is sold for 20000 the book value of machinery is 30000 and it is sold for 20000 so there is loss at the time of sale of rupees 10000 so in the fixed asset account on the credit side first of all we will record accumulated depreciation we will record accumulated depreciation by accumulated depreciation 50,000. After recording accumulated depreciation, you will record the selling price 20,000. By bank 20,000. Then you will record the loss. So there is loss of 10,000. By PL loss on sale. 10,000. This accumulated depreciation, the accumulated depreciation 50,000 will also be transferred to the accumulated depreciation account. Jo accumulated depreciation hai, usko aap kaha transfer karoge? Accumulated depreciation account mein on the debit side. Two fixed asset 50,000. To fix asset 50,000. Accumulated depreciation go transfer kar diya. Now we have recorded the additional information. It's time to close the account. It's time to close the account. Now we will close the accounts. So, total of credit 60,000. Sorry, total of credit 6,60,000. Total of credit 6,60,000 minus debit 4 lakh. It will be 20. Okay. So, total of credit is 6,80,000. 6,80 minus 4 lakh. Your balancing figure is 280. And the balancing figure in fixed asset account will be purchases to bank this is purchase of fixed asset so the balancing figure in the fixed asset account is purchase of fixed asset 2 lakh 80 thousand now similarly we will calculate the closing balance in accumulated depreciation account total of debit 1 lakh 50 thousand total of credit 80 thousand so debit is more than credit 1 50 minus 80, your balancing figure is 70,000. Balancing figure is 7000. 000, 70,000. And this is depreciation by PNL. This is depreciation of the current year. This is depreciation of the current year. The balancing figure in the accumulated depreciation account. On the credit side is depreciation of current year. So now your ledger accounts are complete. Now I am going to tell you where you will record all the item. Loss on sale of machinery will be added to the operating activity. This is a hint that the right hand side items are always right hand side items are always added and left hand side items are always subtracted this is a hint you can always notice that right hand side wale item hamesha add honge or left hand side wale item hamesha minus honge so loss on sale of asset will be added in the operating activity accumulated depreciation kahi nahi jayega by bank sale of machinery sale of machinery will be added in the investing activity sale of machinery you will add in investing activity and loss you will add in operating activity then 
टू बैंक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आइटम्स आर सब्ट्रैक्टेड परचेज ऑफ मशीनरी विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी परचेज ऑफ एग्जासिट विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी then in the accumulated depreciation account the balancing figure depreciation depreciation will be added in the operating activity depreciation will be added in the operating activity so these are the four items that will be added or subtracted from the cash flow statement now we will start the question and the question is started with the net प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स अगर आपको कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी कैलकुलेट करना है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू कैलकुलेट नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स नाउ हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स टू कैलकुलेट नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स we have to subtract the profit you will subtract the previous year profit from current year first of all subtract the previous year profit from current year so pnl account pnl account current year is 2 lakh and previous year is 1 lakh 60000 so 2 lakh minus 160 your Current year profit is forty thousand. Profit current year minus previous year two lakh minus one sixty forty thousand. Then in this we add four item. In this we add four item. P I T P. This is my phrase that I learn for a hint or a shortcut. P I T P. P stands for proposed dividend of current year. I stands for interim dividend. Interim dividend it is only given of one year. So यहाँ पे confusion नहीं होगी कि current year का add करें या previous year का add करें. सिर्फ एक साल का interim dividend given होगा. Then T transfer to reserve. and last p stands for provision for tax provision for tax of current year or provision for tax made so these four items are added to the profit of current year to find out the profit before tax now in this question i can only see one item proposed dividend in this question i can see only one item out of these four so i will add proposed dividend of current year i will add proposed dividend of current year 70000 40 plus 70 your net profit before tax will be 1 lakh 10000 your net profit before tax is 1 lakh 10000 तो चलिए नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स कितना आया प्रॉफिट एज पर दी बैलेंस शीट टू लैक माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर्टी वी विल एड प्रपोज डिविडेंड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स इज वन लैक टेन थाउजेंड नाउ यू विल एड दी नॉन कैश एंड नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसेस इन दिस टू फाइंड आउट दी कैश फ्लो कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी हम इसमें नॉन कैश एक्सपेंसेस एंड नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसेस को क्या करेंगे ऐड करेंगे सो गो टू दी लेजर अकाउंट लेजर अकाउंट में मैंने क्या बोला था कि जो हमारा डेप्रीसिएशन है दैट विल बी एडेड टू ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी एंड लॉस ऑन सेल ऑफ फिक्स एसेट विल बी एडेड टू ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी so we will add these two item in the net profit before tax so in the net profit before tax the net profit before tax is 1 lakh 10000 you will add depreciation and you will add loss on sale of machinery 
so 70000 depreciation 10000 loss on sale of machinery 110000 plus 80000 operating profit before working capital changes is 190000 operating profit before working capital changes is 190000 one lakh ninety thousand. Now we will look at the current assets and current liability. Now we will look at current assets and current liability. So, current asset stock. Stock is increasing. Increase in asset is subtracted. Increase in asset is subtracted. So, we will subtract 20,000 because it is increase in current asset. Then debtors. Debtors are decreasing. Decrease in current asset is added. Decrease in current asset is added. So, 40,000 will be added. 40,000 will be added. Bills receivable, bills receivable is increasing, your asset is increasing, you will subtract 10,000, you will subtract 10,000. So now first of all adjust these assets, then we will go to the liability. Bank is also a current asset, but we do not include a bank because it will be included in the last. So, we will subtract 20,000, we will add 40,000 and we will subtract 10,000. So, we will add 40,000, we will subtract 20,000 and we will subtract 10,000. These are current asset. Decrease in current asset is added. Increase in current asset is subtracted. Now coming on to the current liability. Now coming on to the current liability. There is only one current liability that is a creditor. I can see only one current liability that is a creditor. So creditors are decreasing. In the previous year there was 140. Now they are 120. So your debtors are decreasing. Decrease in liability is also subtracted. Decrease in liability is also subtracted. So we will subtract 20,000. We will subtract decrease in current liability will be subtracted minus 20,000. So 190 plus 40, 230. 230 minus 20, 10 and 20 minus 50,000. 230 minus 50, your cash flow from operating activity is 1,80,000. Cash flow from operating activity is 1,80,000. So, cash flow from operating activity is done. Now, we will calculate the second one, cash flow from investing activity. While calculating the cash flow from investing activity, when we calculate cash flow from investing activity, we will only focus on the fixed asset. We will only focus on the fixed asset. So now we have prepared the fixed asset ledger account. So we will look at fixed asset ledger account to find out cash flow from investing activity. So, in the ledger account, we have already marked the items that purchase of fixed asset will be subtracted from the investing activity and sale of fixed asset will be added in the investing activity. Sale 20,000 we will add, purchase 280,000 we will subtract. So, these are the only two items that will be recorded in the cash flow from investing activity. Proceeds from sale of fixed asset. We will add sale of fixed asset 
and purchase of fixed asset two lakh eighty thousand we will subtract. So two lakh eighty plus twenty your answer will be in negative two lakh sixty thousand. So this is net cash outflow from investing activity negative two lakh sixty thousand. Negative two lakh sixty thousand. Now the last activity cash flow from financing activity cash flow from financing activity so in financing activity we will record the long term borrowing in financing activity we will record the securities and debentures and long term borrowing so first equity share capital equity share capital is increasing equity share capital is increasing it means we have issued we, we have issued shares of 1 lakh rupees your equity share capital is increasing it means shares have been issued so we will add 1 lakh rupees proceeds from issue of shares will be added then bank loan bank loan has decreased bank loan has decreased it means you have repaid the balance it means 20000 have been repaid so repayment of bank loan will be subtracted because this is outflow of cash inflow is added outflow is subtracted so we will subtract 20000 and there is no other item there is no other item so in the financing activity we will record issue of shares 20 issue of shares 1 lakh issue of shares 1 lakh we will add bank loan paid 20000 different bank loan had decreased 20000 we will subtract also there was proposed dividend there was proposed dividend in the question so the current year proposed dividend is added in the net profit before tax but the previous year proposed dividend what is proposed dividend in current year you are proposing that next year we will pay you this amount of dividend proposed dividend ka matlab ye hota hai ki is saal humne aapko bata diya कि अगले साल हम आपको इतना डिविडेंड देंगे सो दोज डिविडेंड ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर विल बी पेड इन दिस ईयर प्रपोज डिविडेंड ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर 2010 थाउजेंड टेन विल बी पेड इन द करेंट ईयर सो सिक्सटी थाउजेंड विल बी पेड सो डिविडेंड पेड इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिविडेंड पेड इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड this also we will subtract from financing activity dividend paid 60000 so now positive 1 lakh 1 lakh minus 20000 minus 60000 1 lakh minus 80 your cash flow from financing activity is 20000 now we have solved the whole question so now it's time to calculate the net increase or decrease in the cash and cash equivalent it's time to calculate net increase or decrease in the cash and cash equivalent for that you will add the answers of a b c means all the activity so 180 minus 260 plus 20 a b c will be equal to 180 plus 20 minus 260 so your answer will be negative 60000 so there is decrease if it is negative it is decrease in the cash and cash equivalent net decrease in the cash and cash equivalent is a negative 60000 after finding out a b c we will add the cash or bank balance of the previous year we will add the cash or bank balance of the previous year so previous year is 
90,000. Previous year is 90,000. So minus 60,000 plus 90,000. Your answer will be 30,000. And your answer should be equal to the current year bank balance. Your answer should be equal to the current year bank balance. So as you can see, your answer is 30,000. As we can see, your answer is 30,000, which is equal to the current year cash and which is equal to the current year bank balance. So it means we have solved the question correctly. Our answer is correct. If this does match with the current year bank balance, this means that you have done something wrong. But we have done something wrong. So this was our first question. Now coming on to the second one. Now we will be a little quick in this because I have explained the first question very briefly. So now I assume, I expect you to solve this one quickly. Because we will not get time in the paper. We have last maximum, we have to take 10 minutes. Maximum 10 minutes to solve one question of cash flow statement. You will get more time from that. So the paper will shoot. So let's go to the next question. Question is, following is the balance sheet of Prishtek Limited for the year 31st March 2011 and 2012. This is your previous year 2010 and 11 and this is your current year. Please always write down current year and previous year because you are not confused. So current year is on the left hand side, previous year is on the right hand side. First of all, we will read the additional information. सबसे पहले हम लोग क्या करेंगे? Additional information read करेंगे. So additional information, the company paid interest thirty six thousand on its long term borrowing. Company paid interest on long term borrowing. So this you will add in the operating activity. Where you add depreciation, where you add goodwill return off, where you add loss on sale of fixed asset. At that place, we will add interest on long term borrowing. And we will subtract this from financing activity. This will be subtracted from the financing activity. Operating activity may add, financing may minus. And the last depreciation charged on tangible fixed asset is 120 depreciation on tangible fixed assets is given so we will prepare fixed asset ledger account we will prepare fixed asset ledger account so first of all we will prepare ledger account of fixed asset opening balance 9 lakh closing balance 12 lakh. Opening balance 9 lakh. Closing balance 12 lakh. So fixed asset account. Two balance brought down 9 lakh. Buy balance carried down 12 lakh. By depreciation. By depreciation. Your depreciation given in the additional information is 120. So now find out the balancing figure. 13 lakh 20,000 minus 9 lakh. 13, 20 minus 9 lakh. The balancing figure is purchase of fixed asset 4 lakh 20,000. The balancing figure is purchase of fixed asset 4 lakh 20,000. And now we know that this purchases will be subtracted from investing activity. This will be subtracted from investing activity and depreciation will be added in the operating activity depreciation will be added in the operating activity the next step after preparing the ledger account is to find out net profit before tax the next step is to find out net profit before tax 
Now we will look at the reserves and surplus. We will look at reserves and surplus. Current year 350. Previous year 4 lakh. So 350 minus 4 lakh. Your answer is negative 50,000. Your answer is negative 50,000. In this we will add 4 items. P I T P. We will add four item which are not given in the question. Which are not given in the question. Not a single item is given out of these. So your net profit before tax is fifty thousand. Your net profit before tax is fifty thousand in negative. It is a loss. So, cash flow from operating activity, net profit before tax is minus 50,000. Then we will add non-cash and non-operating expenses. So, add depreciation, 1,20,000. This was given in the additional information. Add interest paid on long-term borrowing. This was also given in the additional information. So, 120 plus 36, we will add 156. So, 50,000 is a loss. Minus 50,000 plus 156. Your net profit before working capital changes is 1,6,000. 1,6,000. Now we will look at the current asset and current liability. Now we will look at current assets and current liability. First current asset is inventory. First current asset is inventory. So inventory is previous year is 1 lakh, current year is 2 lakh. Inventory is previous year 1 lakh, current year 2 lakh. So, inventory is increase. Increase in current asset you will subtract. Increase in current asset we will subtract. Inventory has increased by 1 lakh. So, subtract 1 lakh rupees. Then we have trade receivable. Previous year trade receivable were Previous year it was 2,30,000. Current year it, has, it, it is 310. So trade receivables are also increased by 80,000. Increase in asset will be subtracted. Cash and cash equivalent we will ignore. Because they will be used at the end of the question. So 80,000 we will also subtract increase in trade receivable. Trade payable, current liability, trade payable. 50,000 in the previous year, 60,000 in the current year. Increase in current liability, 10,000 will be added. Increase in current liability will be added. So, we will subtract 80,000. Trade receivables are increased by 80,000. We will subtract 80,000 and trade payable. Increase in current liability will be added. Add 10,000. We will add 10,000. 1, 6 plus 10,000. It will be 1,16,000. 1, 1,16,000. 1, and we will subtract 1,80,000. We will subtract 1,80,000. So your net cash used in operating activity. It is used. It is not flow. It is used because it is negative. 116 minus 180. It is a negative 64,000. This is a net cash used in the operating activity. Second, we will calculate net cash from net cash flow from investing activity which is very simple. Because we have prepared fixed asset ledger account, only one item will be recorded. Purchase of fixed asset 4,20,000. 
only one item will be recorded purchase of fixed asset minus 1 lakh minus 4 lakh 20000 purchase of fixed asset will be subtracted because it is outflow of cash minus 4 lakh 20000 we will subtract this so cash flow from investing activity is also completed next we will calculate the cash flow from financing activity in financing activity we will look at the share capital securities and long term borrowing we will look at long term borrowing so share capital previous year 8 lakh current year 12 lakh so it is increasing it is issue of shares so it will be added you will add 4 lakh in the financing activity we will add 4 lakh in the financing activity then long term borrowing previous year 3 lakh 50000 current year 4 lakh 40000 your long term borrowing has increased it means you have taken additional loan you have taken additional loan of 90000 Not ninety, fifty, forty. ठीक है ninety. So you will add this. You will add proceeds from long term borrowing in the financing activity, and we will subtract interest paid. We will subtract interest paid. So three items will be recorded in the financing activity. First. proceeds from issue of share capital we will add 4 lakh proceeds from long term borrowing we will add 90000 and interest paid on long term borrowing we will subtract 36000 so 490 minus 36 your net cash flow from financing activity is 4 lakh 54000 4 54000 Now it's time to calculate net increase or decrease in the cash and cash equivalent. For that, you will add operating, you will add investing, you will add financing. So only financing is positive. Only financing is positive. Operating and investing are negative. Operating and investing are negative. so there is net decrease of 30000 there is net decrease of 30000 the answer is negative so it is net decrease in the cash and cash equivalent 30000 in this net decrease we will add the opening balance of cash we will add the opening balance of cash Opening balance is three lakh seventy thousand. Previous year balance is three lakh seventy thousand. So previous year balance three seventy. The net decrease was thirty thousand. Three seventy minus thirty three forty. And three forty it is equal to current year balance. It is equal to current year balance three forty. So net decrease was 30000 in net decrease you will add the cash and cash equivalent of previous year or of the beginning of the year 370 370 minus 30 your answer is 340 which is equal to the current year balance of cash so here you can see just a minute here you can see 30000 plus 370 your answer is 340 which is equal to the current year cash bank balance so this question is also correct so now if you want more questions like this and if you want to do more practical sum with me of difficult chapter then you guys can take Vedantu Commerce Pro subscription, in which we will be providing you all these subjects: accounts, maths, business studies, economic. All these subjects are provided. 
Along with that, we are providing you more than 10 teachers with having 5 years of experience. So, you will highly experienced teachers provide kari jayengi. Chinta ki ek dam koi baat nahi hai. Uske baad, all these teachers will work on your weakness. They will work on your areas of improvement. Aapki kamiyo par kaam karengi. Aapko boards mein achche marks dilwane hai hume. Then we are providing you more than 2000 hours of live online classes. You can watch unlimited live classes of all these subjects. And also we will conduct regular tests for you. We will provide you regular assignments containing thousands of questions. And the most important point, you will be learning all the session in English. All the classes will be conducted in English in this pro subscription. The actual price of this pro subscription is 3499 for one month. But right now we are giving you flat 20% discount on this subscription. And after discount, the price will be only 2799. So you have to pay only $2799 for all these subjects. So what is the time? Your boards are coming soon. So what you are waiting for? Go and take your pro subscription right now so that you can score good marks in your board's exam. And you can use my code SCPRO to avail 20% discount on this pro subscription. And I would love to teach you all on pro subscription. So, to get more questions like this, stay tuned for the next class. I will be coming live tomorrow at 6 p.m with more questions of the same chapter. We will be continuing this chapter in the next class tomorrow at 6 p.m. And if you guys are new to our channel, Vedantu Commerce, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then go and subscribe to our channel right now so that you do not miss any next session. And also, don't forget to like this video and share this. And you guys can also join our official telegram group Vedantu Commerce if you want to receive all these notes in the PDF form. The link of this group is in the description box below. So thank you everyone for watching this session. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you all in the next session tomorrow at 6 p.m. Till then, good night, have sweet dreams and take care. Bye-bye everyone.